Hello, happy Saturday. Smarty Style and uh, Too Cool for Middle School and a couple of other teachers are um, having a collaboration really on YouTube about the cost of being a teacher where you stay. Question one, what state do you live in? I live in the state of Georgia. Question two, how many people live in your household? Four people, my husband, myself, and our two children. So four people. Question three, are you single or double income household? We are double. My husband does work. Question four, do you own a rent? We own our home. Question five, what is your highest level of education? The highest level of education is a bachelor's. I'm currently in school uh, earning my master's degree. Does, does your education level affect your pay? Yes, sure. We have years of experience uh, going down and then we have our level of degrees going across um, bachelor's, master's, specialist, and a doctorate degree. Um, the higher the, the degree, the more you get paid, um, more experience, also the more you get paid. Question six, how much did it cost um, you to obtain your degree? 60000 and that's only because it took me about five years to complete. I had both of my kids when I was in college. I kept um, stopping and then starting back, then stopping again, and then starting back. Right now with my master's, I um, I am currently, I think, in $70,000 worth of student loan debt. Yes. Else, Are you still paying for your education? Right now, I'm not because I'm currently in school. Question seven, how is your salary schedule structured? The district that I work in is Atlanta Public School, which is APS. Um, it's kind of one of the highest paid districts here in Georgia. They start each teacher out coming in with just a bachelor's degree. I think it's 46000 I believe. The master's, I believe, is about 3000 more than a specialist. is about, I think, three or 4000 more. As I've worked with APS for the past three years. For the past three years, we have had a raise, more so of a um, cost of living increase. So they say um, like a family of four. Or, uh, cost of living here in Georgia is 45000 Not, but that's pretty much what they call it, a cost of living increase. Last year, I think was a 1.2 increase, I believe. And then the year before that was like a two point something increase. I'm not sure, but they kind of call it a cost of living increase. And question eight, where are you on your district salary schedule? I make at the high range of $40,000. So I'm in the higher range between 47 and 49,000. Question nine, do you supplement your income in any way? If so, how? I do not supplement my income in any way. Hey, I guess this will be going back to question eight, so then I can answer correctly answer question nine, I guess. Um, we are paid um, for 12 months out of the year. What it is, is we have a example, 46,000. That is, that is our salary and that's how much we get paid for that year. So they divide that 46,000 over 12 months. We get paid twice a month of 24 payments. That's how they pay us. We do get paid in the summer, but like I said, it's really, they're paying us for 10 months really, but they um, stretch it out so that we will be able to get paid during the summer. Um, once upon a time, I did do summer school. I did also work at a daycare during the summer. Um, this summer, I, I'm just here with the kids. Question 10. How much money does your district give you for supplies at the beginning of the school year? Each teacher $100 and we have to order from Staples or either Lakeshore or um, any approved store that they say we can order from. Um, they also, at the beginning of the school year, give us school supplies like construction paper, stapler, hole punch. Also supply us with rims of paper. Each teacher gets like a box of, I think it's 10 or 12 rims of paper. Um, so we get a box in August and then we get another box in February. Question, or did I finish all of question 10? Do they provide basic supplies throughout the school year? Uh, Basic supplies, I'm assuming you mean like paper, pencil, crayons, folders, stuff like that. 
Uh, they do not supply it throughout the school year, but if we need it, it we have a supply closet, but we kind of have to ask for it. Um, it's not like we can just go in there and get it. If they do have it in there, because sometimes they don't have it in there, sometimes they do. Um, we give each child a supply list. Some of the parents do bring in the supplies that we ask for. Some of them don't. So um, I technically buy those supplies out of my own pocket or um, depending on what it is, I have done a coupler donors choose. We also have a program here called uh, Kids in Need. And it's a place where teachers can go for um, basic school supply um, for their classroom. So we do have that program and we can get school supplies from there. Eleven, do you have additional deductions taken from your paycheck? Um, the deductions I have taken from a paycheck, which is TRS, which is Teacher Retirement Service here in Georgia. Um, and I also have a 401k that I have money going into. I also have everyone on my, um, benefits. So a family of four on, um, what is it? Medical, eye and dental. So yeah. So, um, after everything is taken out, it's about close to $500 that that is deducted from my check every time I get paid. Do 12, do you feel like your current salary is enough to make ends meet? It is enough now because I am married and my husband, um, to be honest, pays all the bills. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. He has blessed me with a wonderful man. If I was a single parent with two kids, I don't think so. It's, it's really, it's, it's the let our house that we live in now was 90 cost us 95,000. Um the houses in our area, well I, I live in Clayton County, so I live in a different district than what I where I work. But the houses that are in the county that I live in range from maybe 80,000 to no more than like $180,000, you know, to buy a house. Uh in the district that I work in, those houses over there range from maybe 120,000 on up to maybe 400,000 cuz that's, you know, the city of Atlanta costs a little bit more to live in that area. So we live in an area that we can afford. How many months a year do you receive a paycheck? Um I receive a paycheck for 12 months like I said we get paid twice a month, so we have 24 payments throughout the whole year. What are your major monthly expenses? My major monthly expenses are my kids' activities <laughs> and groceries. Number 15, are there any financial goals that you are still working towards? It's just really to just invest more and save more money. Um, so, yeah, just so my financial goals are really just to invest more. Um, save more money. Financial goals. I guess just paying off. Like I, I, I had used to have. I'm 35 years old. I used to have credit cards when I was 18. Um, I paid those off. I no longer have those on my credit. So the only thing that's on my credit is um, medical bills and, um, of course, my student loan. Um, what is the biggest piece of financial advice you would offer someone considering teaching? Budget. Budget, budget, budget. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's I, I can just budget. When I first started teaching, I was in Clayton County, and we got paid once a month, and it was not much at all. And I had to learn quick how to budget. Quick, 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 quick. I actually overdrafted my banking account several times that first year. So, I mean, probably maybe six or seven times. So I think budgeting is just really the main thing with teaching because, you know, as teachers, we don't make enough. And um, there are some things that we want to do, leisurely things. And in order to do that, you have to budget, even if you just trying to pay a bill. You really have to budget. I think budgeting is the most important thing. I have this red uh, book that I write, like, um, that I, that I use to budget. And I just write down 
when I'm going to get paid and I write down the amount of where everything needs to go. I tell my money where to go. So I think that is extremely important um, as a teacher, as an independent person, as a mother. I just think budgeting is the most important financial advice anyone could give me.